explain this. So, you want to be in the video or? It doesn't matter to me. If you want to get me talking about it, sure. But make sure this is all in here too. All right. So this is um, <clears throat> Dave and Scotty. And Scotty has assembled a uh, functioning panel of a Joe cell made out of seven seven inch plates of non-magnetic stainless steel. You can see the plates, they're in the water solution and the water is being pre-charged, correct? Correct, yes. I'll go from there, Scott. Okay, one of the most important things you need to know is uh, that the negative is always on first and always off last, so uh, when you want to take your cell apart, you take the positive off first and then your negative, okay? Uh, always negative on first and then positive, okay? Now what we've done here is we just got the middle one is the ground, the two outer ones is the positive of a 12 volt battery charger. Now we've also put a second lead from here to the negative on a battery. And now if you want to monitor these batteries when you guys are doing this, you'll see this battery increasing in voltage. Now my hypothesis is, is that it can only be electrons doing that. So I think that we're exciting the water molecules, uh, then electrons are bail bailing, which science teaches us. And now the positive ions in here will draw out the, the freed up electrons and this creates water, sorry, turns into more like an ion plasma energy. So when you're putting your intake line in and your vehicle's installed, you want to stay away from any electrical generators or wires because it'll actually push on that. you got two ion fields messing with each other, okay? So that's one of the big problems with replication. Um, I think that's about it for now. Well, uh, I just wanted to show the basic setup here. You got any questions, Dave? Yeah, what, what we're actually looking at here is a bowl of water with approximately one and a half gallons or six liters in it. The plates are assembled inside a uh, plastic drainage hose that's been slipped down the side and that provides the compartments for each of the plates to sit pretty well equidistant from each other. So it's a very simple arrangement and um, these plates could be completely submerged but the bowl doesn't allow for it at the moment. So. But that's fine. And I'd like to add as well to you guys, you always want to leave this negative on when possible. This is continually to, uh, sorry, continual allowance of the electrons to be drained. And the only reason we have a second line from the negative of our charger is just in case you got a new fancy charger that might have a diode. I'm, I'm not aware that they have any that have that, but I, I believe the diode is what blocks the electricity from going one way. But anyways, I do this just as an extra support. I even suspect that having a few different batteries doing this might even increase the, uh, the drainage of the electrons, which will uh, help uh, maybe aid in the replication problem as well. Um, I guess that's about it for now. Yeah. We'll add more info later. Yeah, just, just maybe adding a little bit to what Scott was saying about the battery charger. A lot of the newer chargers now have uh, control chips put in them and so on, and they're far more complicated than they need to be. Uh, working with things like this, uh, better to keep it as simple as possible. It's easier to understand and it's cheaper to cut your, your bits and pieces and your things together. Like a lot of this is garage sale stuff and, uh, you know, nothing highly technical. Okay.